So the school holidays are over and the kids are back to school but I just feel a bit gross and a bit unloved so I'm going to do an everything shower today. I'm going to take you along with me as well and show you all the little pamper products and bits and bobs that I use from hair care, skin care, defuzzing, that kind of thing. So if you want to come along with me then keep watching. So this is something that I normally do once a week. Um, sometimes it'll be on an evening or sometimes it'll be on like a Sunday to get me ready for the week and I'll do like a good wash of my hair. Obviously I wash my hair throughout the week anyway but I'm going to be exfoliating, shaving, fake tanning, checking on my feet because the summer months your feet always get like quite dry at least mine do anyway because I'm pretty much always in sandals or barefoot and I'm just going to try and make myself feel better because it's been an amazing summer full of like mum time but I have neglected myself a little bit. I've had my nails done to kind of get this started but I'm going to take myself from this to hopefully something that feels a little bit more like a silky smooth shiny clean dolphin. You know that feeling when you've just shaved and it just feels amazing. That's what I'm hoping to achieve today. Um, so let's let's get cracking. So first things first, I got the shower on. I like a slightly cooler shower in the summer months because I just find it so refreshing. Took everything off, like hearing aids, my watch and stuff. And then I'm filming this in our family bathroom because the lighting is a bit better. These are all of my goodies of choice. And we're starting with the Hair Burst Longer Stronger Hair Shampoo. And this is for oilier scalps. I've been using the original Hair Burst actually for a good while now, but this one is new to me. And I thought it'd be fab to try out because I do get oilier hair especially in the summer months when you're feeling a bit sweatier I always do a double wash in my hair so the first is to remove all the buildup and the grease and the dirt and the second is to remove excess product and dirty product I added the hair burst conditioner to my hair and I left that in while I started exfoliating so I'm using this Mallow's Beauty exfoliant scrub and then my exfoliating gloves this is how they begin and just wait and see and look how they are afterwards this is all old fake tan build up look at the water so it was gross then I went in with the shave butter and I love this because it gets you really really moisturizing close shave I'd really recommend it and then I finally I finished with the treacle moon frosted candy angel which is a cheap for luscious snow fairy by the way and I borrowed Bill's face wash because it was in there then I gave my feet a quick file because I like to keep them free of dry skin because otherwise it builds up and it's a bit uncomfortable isn't it uh, a gross fat but true and now it's my fake tan routine so these are the products I'm using. This is a back tanner. So if you've never seen one of these before, they're so useful. You hold on to each loop and rub it up and down on your back as you would do with a towel. Then I moisturize any dry parts and use the Saint-Tropez Express one hour tan. I'm just using this one because then I can wash it off again later and it won't stain any clothes or bedding. Now onto my hair. It's the Hair Base Volume and Growth Elixir. I've been using this for quite a while now too and it does give me a real bit of oomph in my hair. I have really fine soft silky hair which is lovely but it goes flat quite easily so I spray that all over and brushing it through and then I'm adding a little bit of oil to the ends just because they get a bit drier in the summer months and then I'm just going to roughly dry it and I do this on a relatively cool setting. A lot of the time I will let my hair air dry but tonight I wanted to give it a good dry so I could style it ready for the next day and just look at how shiny my hair is. It's looking so good. I had a bit of an issue when Stan was born and I had a lot of postpartum hair loss but it's looking a lot better. I've added in some dry shampoo there because you're meant to add it before your hair gets greasy so it can absorb any grease build up for you and work as a kind of proactive thing. I'm putting some curls in my hair and then setting it with hairspray and I don't brush it I just leave it because the curls will last a lot longer. But now we're gonna go upstairs and do my skincare, so come with me. I'm now in our ensuite, hello. <laughs> and I'm gonna start with the Ren Ready Steady Glow. I am obsessed with this product. 
I think it's fantastic at removing build up in pores and grime and things like that and I've noticed a significant difference with blackheads and things like that since I started using it a few months back. Then I'm going in with my Dermatica Serum and I have been working with them recently but I'm actually really enjoying it. You'll see some hyperpigmentation on my skin because I did have a purge which is very common when you're starting serums like this but I'm starting to see some good results. Anyway next up was the Inculus Hyaluronic Acid and then finally CeraVe which I just love and I've been using for years now and I rub that down my neck and into my chest and then I'm going in with the hair base lash and brow enhancing serum and can you see how long my eyelashes are Look at how long they're getting. I've been using this for a good month or so now and it definitely works. I also put it through in my brows which is great for me because I've had my brows laminated and that can dry out the hair so this is so nourishing and keeps them nice and thick and full. Then I go with the ultimate, ultimate antiperspirant which is the sure maximum defense because it's very hot at the moment and I need it. And then I'm going in with some perfume. It just always makes me feel like finished and it makes me feel good. So I'm putting on this YSL one that I always seem to get compliments on. It's really really nice. And that is me done. The feeling, you know when you just feel so much better. Um, you know self-care comes in different forms and all of that and there are obviously lots of different things that work for different people but I have to say like taking a bit of time out and looking after myself and just you know making yourself feel like less crusty musty dusty because I do feel that especially as I'm getting older I feel like I have to work so much harder to sort of feel good I don't know it's very difficult to explain but yeah I'm done I'm clean I'm gonna be nice and tanned I may possibly rinse this off before bed just because I have recently washed my sheets sometimes I will um sleep with it on if I'm gonna wash my sheets like the next day or something but I won't be um so it just depends on that really um but other times that's why I used the central pay one just because it's quick and easy but um yeah I feel like then tomorrow when I wake up my hair will be mostly done obviously it's quite ringlety at the moment but I am noticing such a difference with my overall length and it's been something that I have wanted for ages i don't know if it's just been like stress factors obviously my mental health has been really up and down for the last few years but i cut it shorter once just to get the dead length off i think it was after having stanley and then after that it's just been really difficult to grow but normally when i have I've just curled it it will sit like this and obviously the curls are still quite tight they're not really where i want them but we are getting we're getting some that we're getting lower and like when it's dry obviously it's lower than that because it's curly at the moment i am due to see my hairdresser jen soon so i'd be interested to see what she thinks because she'll normally comment on like the quality of my hair ask me what i've been using give me suggestions if you know i'm not happy with it but generally speaking i think it's quite happy it's healthy we're getting there and hopefully in the morning this will look less like put together I kind of just like a gentle wavy curl these days um, but I can wake up then in the morning and at least I'm going to feel like moisturised a bit more human which I've been needing I think the last like five or six weeks have just caught up with me a little bit and I just needed a bit of time just to sort of look in the mirror and go oh is she I recognise you, you're still there. Um, but yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I am now going to go and read my book, fill up my Stanley dupe and have some like ice cold cordial and Mark is making me a chicken and vegetable rice salad for dinner, which I'm really excited about. So have a lovely rest of your day or evening whenever you're watching this and I'll hopefully see you all very, very soon. Bye.